Hello and welcome to Cinemania. My name is Ellis Charles Hoffmeister and today I am talking about two Toby Hooper films. It's the weekend, it's Friday. Okay, it's not the weekend yet, but it's almost the weekend. And today's Cinemania is brought to you by Toby Hooper. So I am talking about The Fun House, the Elizabeth Barrage starrer from sometime in the early 80s. I want to say 80 or 81. Not fully sure of the remembrance. Not remembering a lot of facts about these ones. Um, so I'm just going to go on impressions, basically. Um, so I'm talking about The Fun House and I'm talking about The Mangler, uh, which has Ted Levine, Robert England, um, and that's all I can remember of who's in that film. So The Fun House is a lot of fun. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm so sorry for that. The Fun House actually is, it's interesting because it's, uh, you know, it's a Toby Hooper film that he did for Universal, which uh, filmed largely in Florida, and he did it, and then shortly after, you know, he got Poltergeist, which is, you know, kind of, other than Texas Chainsaw Massacre, probably what he's known most for, other than, you know, Salem's Lot. I've seen a lot of Toby Hooper films, and I'm a big fan of his. Um, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, Eaten Alive. If you're into creepy, redneck, killer, alligator, just icky, icky films, then you will love Eating Alive. Um, Eaten Alive, not Eating Alive, but that could be an interesting film too, Eaten Alive. Um, a little baby Kyle Richards is in it. Robert England is in it, and there's a line that he says in it that inspired another line in Kill Bill, um, a famous, grotesque, memorable line. Um, so, you know, if you want something gross, watch Eaten Alive. It's a fun one. Uh, and if you like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, if you are terrified of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, then Eaten Alive is probably going to be hard for you as well. Um, the Fun House is probably one of his films that... I'm looking around the room like it's gonna give me clues to how I feel about this film. Um, the Fun House is probably one of his less gory films. It does have this amazing kind of creature effect going on for the lead villain in the film. Um, and the film is basically about uh, two siblings who end up going to a carnival, an uh, older sister and a younger brother. The beginning is very Halloween inspired, like very Halloween and Psycho inspired, um, and it's definitely riffing off of that. And um, the sister goes with her boyfriend, who looks about 10 years older than her. She looks very young. Um, Elizabeth Barrage at the time, who was also an Amadeus. And then they go to a carnival and things kind of just, they go downhill because they decide to stay in the fun house overnight, which is never a good idea. Sylvia Miles, the delightful Sylvia Miles, um, makes an appearance as well as, I want to say her name is Zoya, but maybe it's Zira or something. I'm not looking up any of the facts today. I'm just not going to do it. It's not happening. This is Cinemania brought to you by Chaos and Chaos Reigns. Um, and then, you know, all these horrible things transpire at the, at the carnival. Um, if you like, also if you like, like, you know, carnival type films. I, I would highly recommend that you watch Nightmare Alley, either the original with Tyrone Power or the remake with Guillermo del Toro. That's a huge recommend, I would say. Um, and then let's talk about, so The Fun House is interesting because it's, it's kind of one of those films that isn't, it's on the less gory side of his. There's not very much gore. I mean, there is gore, there is violence, but it's a little less gory. Oh gosh, I only have a minute. Okay, so then I watched The Mangler, which is, Wow. I mean, it was interesting to remember that Ted Levine has that voice in a lot of things. I was like, oh, so the Buffalo Bill voice is definitely a character voice, but you hear some of it in this performance as well. You know, he's also terrifying in Betrayed. Um, and then, you know, he played a lot of like cops and monk and stuff to try to get away from his scary side. But in The Mangler, he plays a detective who's trying to figure out what's going on with a killer laundry machine. Um, based on a Stephen King short story. Um, it was not very well received, and you can kind of understand why. There's also a very hilarious situation in this film where Ted Levine and his character and his ex-brother-in-law, because his wife has died, um, seem like a gay couple through, like, for, like, a solid 20 minutes. I was like, is this gay? 
and then it turns out it's not, but it still feels very. And then, of course, there's a big, insane special effects sequence at the end, which feels very silly. Um, Robert England is having a good old time. It's, you know, it's, I would say it's lower on Toby Hooper's. It's probably my least favorite of Toby Hooper's films that I've seen. Um, but, you know, if you like Stephen King adaptations, Robert England, it's very Stephen King. Um, uh, Robert England and Toby Hooper, it's worth seeing. And Ted Levine. So, I recommend enjoy your weekend. A lot of horror. I'll probably be watching more. Probably some vampire movies. Okay. <laughs>